<laughs> we have the IOCC C Prize in Phased Periodicity, which is an interesting mm. title for an award. Well, you could might say it's got its phases. Well, IOCC is a, has some phased periodicity as well. Yes, <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, that's true. Um, but you got some, you got some cycle stuff. You got some phase stuff. Um, so that might give you a hint. Um, might give the author the hint as to uh, what. But let's let's I let's think actually we reveal move. who won. Ah, the trophy phase. And the IOCC prize in phased periodicity goes to Ilya Kurtukov from Russia. Congratulations, Ilya. Um, Ilya had a uh, had had four um, winning. Um, uh winners in 2020 this is Ilya's fifth win and it's a very it's a fun piece of code um so let's let's look at how you actually um compile Ilya's code and we say again it's pretty straightforward again remember uh it's just just this is just uh doing the maximum optimization stuff so you can kind of ignore that thing and just say it's a straightforward compile what are we compiling? Well, this is the code. There it is. It's very small. Compact. The aficionados may recognize the number 2,551,443. Well, so, any guesses what it means? In the chat? I seen it. I seen Ilya in the chat, so I know that there. He, he's, he's not. He's not spoiling it for for us. Um, well, and you may. I'll make, say that you may as an astronomer. Go ahead. You may have seen this number in one of the previous entries, very very long time ago. Yes, and as an astronomer, I, I recognize. Put it, I put it to say many moons ago. Yes, <laughs> this is. Uh, and, and as remember, I say, oh, that's something, that's a number of seconds rounded to the nearest second of something. And the answer is, that's the number of seconds in a lunar phase cycle. And in fact, we have, it, 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 it tells you that because there's the moon with the, the crescent phase. So Clang format wise, um, it, it, it still is a bit impenetrable um, because you've got these things, but Leo, you pointed out this thing when you were judging. Oh, that's a uh, formula for the, for the circle. What's, uh, which coordinates lie within the circle? And the you can see it's gonna, and it's gonna print either a pound sign or a period. So this thing tells you whether you're, you're dealing with the lit side of the lunar crescent or the unlit side, or you have the new line that gets printed up there, 10 is a new yes. line. And it's nice and recursive. There again, you have these constants. This is a offset for time. So given times, time that, that is that is a Unix time-based, uh, POSIX-based, this is the offset for getting the right phase given given the time. And so when you run this piece of code, like for example, the time we prepared these slides, this is what it uh, did. You try to SH and run it. There you see the, 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 at that time, the moon and its crescent phase. Obviously, if you did it now, it'll be slightly different. Um, I wrote a piece of code to, to modify the time and step through um, a lunar month day by day, and this is what it does. So you'll see it run again and again and again. Um, so there's the there's the um, the code where I'm going to run, and you can see it goes through all of the. Uh, we're actually going through all the craze fests. When you run it, it'll be 
accurate to the moon there, but that's essentially is the um, is is a, is the is the set again. Uh, uh, those are all the various lunar cycles, and if you did it on a half day basis, you'd see even more gradients. But it's nice. Um, the previous one, I believe, Leo. Uh, when was that? Uh, when, when was that lunar phase? Do, do it was in two thousand. Oh, 2000. 2000, not only. Yes, and it it uses floating point. So obviously, using floating point for astronomical calculations. That's the right way to do. And it used like some trigonometry and the inverse trigonomet trigonometrical functions. So that was that was nice to nice to have. But this one is a tour de force. It doesn't use any floating point at all. And the question is, what does it do and how? Yes. So that's, that's for you to figure out. You, can, you, can, you can figure out. We're not going to completely spoil every one of these. But uh, well done, Ilya. That was a that was a nice. Again, it's difficult to have a small program that's compact uh, because you've got to really make very careful use of your characters and having your laid obfuscation. And there's more to it than we've just told you. We invite you to look at the code even more and have fun with. Thanks for watching. And before you go, please like and subscribe, and check out the social media links in the description below. And if you like, you can support us on Patreon to help us bring you new content so you may enjoy our favorite universe even more.